So for this review, I decided to wear my Acme uniform for two reasons. One, Acme isn't a supermarket and this movie mainly takes place in a supermarket. And two, I feel as though you really have to get in the mindset of this film in order to talk about it. Because believe me, this movie will definitely give you a mind f Did the intro just cut me off? Damn it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X and I'm here to review Sausage Party. Also, this is gonna be a non-spoiler review. I'm gonna post up later on on my channel a spoiler-filled discussion rant and I'm gonna talk about plot points and spoilers there. So once it's uploaded, be able to click that link right there and be able to see for yourself all of it. Have you already seen the movie or just don't care? But here, it's going to be no spoilers, it's going to be spoiler free, and I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on what this is all about. Sausage Party is given to us by the mind of Seth Rogen. It stars Seth Rogen as Frank, a sausage, no wait, no, a hot dog. He looks like a hot dog. Why do they call him a sausage? This is a sausage. This is a hot dog. Frank is a hot dog. Whatever. If he call him a sausage, I guess he is a sausage. Basically, we have Frank the Sausage, and we have Bread of the Bun, and some other characters along the way. This movie has food in a sentient Toy Story-esque way, and food sees humans as gods, and they think that when they leave the supermarket, that they will go to the great beyond, a heaven of sorts, and they will live out their dreams and fantasies. Unfortunately, and what was made clear in all the trailers, that's not the case. One food get home they find out the ugly truths and that they are butchered they are sliced diced boiled and eaten and murdered because yeah humans need consumption and they need it to get stronger and fatter and ultimately it's up to frank and some other compadres to find out this truth and ultimately reveal it so that they can stop the humans basically i went to see this movie with a friend my good friend Jay, because she wanted to see the film, and I wanted to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. And yeah, I didn't have any plans to see this film because of what the intention was. And yeah, my intentions of what I thought was going to happen, they were not met. They were exceeded. Is a movie funny? Yes, it is. 50-50 most of the time. It does get funny, but it also gets a bit repetitious when it comes to the whole food-based puns, and the fact that, yeah, it kind of gets a little bit of corniness, it, no pun intended, with all the jokes and humor throughout. But, nevertheless, it does have some humorous bits to it. The voice acting really did surprise me. Some of them I did recognize, like Barry, who was voiced by Michael Sarah, who otherwise did the live-action Scott Pilgrim movie. Michael Sarah, yeah, I like the guy, and actually, he was my favorite character in the whole entire movie. Basically, it was a bit of an underdog type story. I'll talk more about that in my spoiler-filled review. But yeah, Barry is one of my favorite characters who end up being a little bit coward, but end up becoming brave and strong towards the end. And as far as other voices are concerned, Paul Rudd is in this film. Paul Rudd, Ant-Man. And he voices a character that I really did know who he was Paul Rudd until I found him in the cast. So, yeah. That kind of threw me for a loop. And ultimately, as far as other humor is concerned, basically takes shots at everybody. Every race, religion, ethnicity, stereotype you can think of, there's plenty of it out there in order to make it diverse with all the different foods and ultimate household products. So don't get worried if some scenes offend you because they offend everybody, including us Caucasians, trust me. Profanity takes a huge chunk out of the dialogue in this movie. I mean, there's more profanity than an Irish pub at happy hour. That's what I'm saying. Ultimately, do I recommend this film? <laughs> 
Not to some of my friends and family. I mean, I do have a few friends that enjoy raunchy comedy, but no. I would not show this to my family, nor would I want to recommend it to my family. But there is some recommendation to this film. I mean, it does have raunchy humor. It does something that not all other animated movies have done before, which is break the R-rated barrier and just go all out. I mean, the ending itself is just nuts, and... Kind of hard to watch in most portions. Again, spoiler review, I'll explain why. But I don't think I would recommend it to my family or a certain circle of friends. However, if you do like raunchy comedy and like the works of Seth Rogen or Superbad, This Is The End, then I would recommend you see this film. But I must warn you. Once you see that shit, it'll fuck you up for life. Good luck. Have fun! <laughs> well, thanks again for watching, guys. Be sure to tune in for my spoiler-filled review that will come up later on after this review is up. Until then, I'm Double X, and I will see you next time.